now available for pre-order on Kindle. Stop simping in cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Pre-order your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace on Kindle today. When I take a critical examination of your Kevin Samuels, he clearly fits the pattern and profile regarding beta males in my book, The Man Crisis. And the reason why I say that your Kevin Samuels is a man in crisis is after listening to him talk about his past and his background. Now, your Kevin Samuels, in his own words, said that he is the product of a single mother household, and he said that his father left his mother. And he said that his father was one of these players or one of these ladies' men who left his mother. And when I take a critical examination of that statement, of him saying that, he clearly is, again, one of these beta males who has serious issues with men. Now, I believe he has a serious issue with men because he's sitting here saying, I'm not trying to be like my father. Now, only a beta male is going to sit there and make a statement like this and say he's not going to be like his father because he has a deep-seated anger and a deep-seated hatred of his father. Now, I go in-depth on that point in my book, Manginas. They look like men, but they act like ladies. And your Kevin Samuels looks like he's one of those guys who, like the Mangina I talk about, is really trying to be something that he's not. And when it comes down to your beta males, they oftentimes create these rose-colored realities to avoid confronting the reality of their life. And your Kevin Samuels, being a man in crisis, created a rose-colored reality where he would become this high-value man. And in that rose-colored reality, he creates the rules and the terms for who is high value so that he can have power over other men. And this is par for the course when it comes down to beta males because they fear being challenged by actual men and they fear being challenged by men in authority because they need to be the ones in power because they fear other men being out here and having power over them or having the ability to abandon them. So this is what your Kevin Samuels is doing to gain control over black men and many black men because they are not critically thinking, they just are caught up in the rose colored reality that your Kevin Samuels has created and because they're caught up in his rose colored reality and identify with his concepts of the high value man, they cannot see how they're being misled by this beta male who is in no way, shape, or form what he tells us he is. Now, your beta male, when he's creating this rose-colored reality, he, again, likes to control the whole situation and all of the rules, and that's why he goes out here and tries to go out here and change and make it the way he wants it to be, and he wants to try to appeal to those males, and he wants to appeal to those females so that he can have control over them. Now, your Kevin Samuels does this by becoming the kind of man that the beta males out here in social media want to be. He's the guy out here dressed up in the suit, and he's castigating and criticizing black women the way he, these black males, want to do. And for the black female, he represents the ideal image of success promoted by Madison Avenue in Hollywood. Unfortunately, he does not have any of those things, and when you challenge him with realistic facts, logic, and reason, this is where he gets defensive, and what he does is, instead of fighting his own battles, he sends his acolytes and sycophants to go out here and defend him instead of standing up for himself. And because these acolytes and sycophants are caught up in their emotions regarding this man, they don't really think critically about anything he says and how many of his statements contradict themselves and how many of his approaches 
really do not fit within the frame of logic. And there, for example, he talks about this high value man, but when I take a critical examination of the high value man, it is nothing more than a repackaging of the good black man that has been presented in mainstream media for over 20 years in books like Waiting to Exhale and many other black novels written by black women. So this high value man is, a, is just a repackaging of an impossible social construct. Unfortunately, instead of black women chasing the construct this time, you've got black men trying to aspire to be like a social construct that they can never be like. And as those men go out here and try to put on the facade of success, they really don't want to deal with the whole reality that your black man can't be a high value man in a white supremacist society where a black man is seen as number one million after your white man, your Hispanic man, your Asian man, your Arab man, your Indian man, and even a robot or a plastic dildo. So your black man is chasing an ideal that isn't real because he's bought into a rose-colored reality and because he's bought into the rose-colored reality he's still trying to become something that is impossible and following the lead of a man who is trying to steer him towards a road of dysfunction and the road of dysfunction that your Kevin Samuels I believe is steering black men and black women on is trying to take them back on the road to the gender war. And the reason why he wants to take them back to the road of the gender war is one, he gets a lot of views as related to the drama. Two, he makes a lot of money as related to the drama. And three, he goes out here and he can go out here and do the work of white supremacy in taking black people's minds off focusing on more important things like black unity, black empowerment and the quest for tangibles in exchange for votes and building and developing a black agenda. It's these things that your Kevin Samuels is being presented on social media to take black people away from because new black media has gone out here and presented talking points as related towards getting black people off the road of the gender war and on the road towards black empowerment and new black media has made tremendous progress over the last couple of years telling black people to focus on tangibles and focus on trying to build a stronger black community economically and politically now your social media most people don't have a problem with black men and black women arguing and fighting with each other but when black people start talking about economics and start talking about family, these are concepts that your white supremacist doesn't want to see black people talking about. So they will go out here and get an agent to go out here and have black people back on this road of this gender war, going back and forth with each other. And that's what I believe your Kevin Samuels was being designed to be. because. The reason why I believe this is because no other black man on social media has ever had this momentum that Kevin Samuels was allowed to have on YouTube. Every other black man who was critical of black women was shadow banned by YouTube and their channels were not allowed to grow. Moreover, every other black man out here who has been this harshly critical of black women has never been flagged or had their channel taken down. But this guy is given the ability to make over 1 million subscribers and he has gotten millions of views across the platform. And again, I believe that was deliberate by design and it was done to get black people off this road and get them from being black men and women focused on empowerment and especially get black men off the road of focusing on our issues and get us back on the road to going out here and trying to be something that we could never be in a system of white supremacy. And that's going to take many black men down the road to becoming 
a man in crisis, just like your Kevin Samuels has become a man in crisis. And I believe, again, he's a man in crisis, leading other men to wind up becoming in crisis, because in one of his recent videos, he talked about the whole concept of domestic discipline and did not understand that the black man in society cannot go out here and make these kinds of statements because it's extremely irresponsible because it puts black men in the path of danger. Now, only an irresponsible person or an agent would sit there and say, oh, a black man can participate in domestic discipline and then use Sean Connery as somebody to reinforce their talking point. Now, any black man like myself understands that Sean Connery is a rich white man who recently passed away, and a white man has different rules as related to how he can go out here in society. A white man back in the 60s could have made that kind of statement, or even the 90s made that kind of statement, and not offend anyone. But if a black man went out here and put his hands on somebody, what would happen is, is that the police would be after that black man and he would be either winding up getting arrested or he might wind up being shot and killed by the police. So it is extremely irresponsible for any black man out here to t t tell other black men to participate in domestic discipline because even if that woman agrees to go along with that, what will happen to that black man is he's going to wind up locked up because that female, she may agree to him on the surface, but if things go wrong in their relationship, she's headed towards that police station, and when she heads towards that police station, you're going to wind up getting locked up. And again, this is where I say that your Kevin Samuels is a man in crisis, and he's leading to other men winding up in crisis, and this is something that many black men aren't thinking critically about, because it's the bad case of the blind leading the blind, and possibly these, that blind man is going to lead these black men into a ditch where either they're going to wind up getting locked up or they're going to wind up chasing some impossible fantasy the same way black women chased an impossible fantasy with Oprah Winfrey, who told them all about this good, no good black man and put them on a quest for a good black man who is nothing more than a Madison Avenue Hollywood social construct that cannot exist in a system of white supremacy. Only in this case, we have the black man chasing this social construct, which cannot exist in a system of white supremacy because a black man is denied any sort of access to that kind of level of power. And it's just impossible for you to get that in a system of white supremacy. And the whole thing is, your average black man, he doesn't understand that you, when you follow a man in crisis, you're not going to get to success. No, you're going to wind up in crisis like this beta male. And when you follow a beta male, you're usually going to wind up going nowhere but one ditch. Now, if you want to learn more about dysfunctional beta males, you can pick up my book, the Man Crisis on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find it on Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. And if you want to see me talk more about men's issues, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, ISIS, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The goddess next door takes on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis Revenge of the Cyber Goddess featuring a bonus pin-up and the other two books in the Cyber Goddess saga at online books 